Hey there everybody, Teacher Booth here for gshelper.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a custom keyboard and enter a text string into an attribute. Um, someone asked me earlier that um, they didn't know how to enter you know, text letters into a string um, so we'll cover that also. Um, so I have my um, my single actor here for my letter, they were all A's um, I laid them out the way I wanted them and then just went into images and dragged the image I wanted um, into the letter. Okay, so then it switches the letter. So these all started as this A actor um, and then I changed the images to the letters I want. This prevents you from having to have 26 different actors for th this stuff here. So let's go into this actor. Um, I created an attribute. Let me delete it so I can do it again. So in the actor, create an attribute and because it's a text um, like alpha like a b c d that's text so we're going to use text attribute and we're going to say what letter am i now traditionally you know most people would say okay that one's a and then they'd go into b and change that to b and you would do that for every one it's a little more work so you could do that yourself or for the sake of this video and to teach you a trick I'm gonna do something different so as you see all my letters are just named A B C D and so on so I'm gonna do this I'm gonna hit change attribute and I'm gonna change self what letter am I to self image so basically it's gonna change what letter am I to the image name and it only does the name, it doesn't do the .png at the end. So, um, just to show you what happens here, I'm going to hit uh, display text, and I'm going to display self, what letter am I? Hit preview, and if you see here, now all these letters say what letter it is. Z, Y, X, W, V, U, and so on. So it, now it knows exactly what letter it is. Just going to delete that display text here. Now let's do a little trick. Um, create a rule when touch is pressed and mouse position is inside. Let's change attribute um, self color and uh, I believe let's see here. Yeah, they all start at ones so. Um, for this video, it's just for the sake of argument, let's take out the red. Let's take red to zero. And then otherwise, and I'll copy, I'll alt, alt option this, copy it down, and change it to one. So now you'll see when I press preview and I select inside, you can see that they light up to a different color. So the user knows that they're selecting that one. And because I did um, show you here, some people just do touch as pressed. And I added when when uh, mouse position is inside uh, for this reason. When you press and drag off, you don't want it to stay highlighted. So even if they, if you're still pressing and you drag off, it turns off. Uh, very important. So let's go in and make a. I'm just gonna save this first. Save. Uh, let's make a game attribute, and this is where the text string comes into into place. So we'll call it text, and. I'll just call this typing just so we can see what's going on here. I'm going to add this text box in here. And we're going to go in here and we're going to tell it to display text. And we're going to tell it to display game typing. And I'll just change that to black and maybe 40 pixels. So we're going to go into our letter and where we have when touch is pressed and inside what we want to do is we want to change attribute we want to change game dot typing and now we're going to display um, what the person is typing and let's see um, we want to change it to the letter that they're hitting so we're going to change it to uh, self what letter am I so I'm going to hit preview and I'm going to hit one and you'll see here that it keeps changing to the letter that I'm hitting. Now we want to add to this. Alright, so as you can see right now, it's just changing the letter. 
but we actually want to add to it the more we type. So what we're going to do is instead of change to, we're going to change to, we're going to delete this and we're going to say change to game typing dot dot and then self what letter am I? So what it's going to do is take the value of that attribute already and just add to it. So now I'll hit preview and you'll see I'll spell t-shirt booth and there you go so now we've created a text string and um, what we'll do here is we'll create another button just a clear button uh, just drag that here create a rule when touch is pressed change attribute game typing to nothing just leave it blank and that'll clear it out completely so I'll go in here I'll just touch some stuff now I hit this button boom it's clear and I can touch again clear touch again so that's pretty much it for creating a custom keyboard and uh, creating a text string with those letters uh, I hope you enjoyed the video you can download this demo this demo file um, underneath the video over at gshelper.com. Just search for the video right underneath. You'll see a download button. Click download, and uh, there you have it. You can play around with it, do what you want with it. Please do not use my art in your game. Uh, this is just for demo purposes only. It's my art, um, so you know, recreate your own art. But uh, feel free to use the demo, and I'll see you guys in the next video.